the number one problem has been the use of third parties to do background checks. There have been fines and lawsuits throughout the country. In February of this year, $28.5 million class action lawsuit was done in California regarding background checks. In April of this year, Uber was fined by Pennsylvania $11 million for operating without approval. In other states, in November of 2014, the law banned ride sharing. In April of last year, Florida, Broward County, they passed legislation to regulate ride sharing. In March of this year, Massachusetts proposed a law to regulate ride sharing. And there are many different things going on, not only in this state, but throughout this nation. This shows something that needs to be done also at the federal level. So I'm hoping that our federal partners, in addition to the, our New Jersey legislature, you know, they do come together and do something to, so that this way all the municipalities are doing the same thing. As, according again to what I've been able to find, as of the last available estimates, Uber is a $40 billion company, a billion dollar company. If Uber decides they don't want to pay the annual licensing fees and ensure adequate liability coverage for the vehicles used to transport passengers and leave, they will do so by their own volition, not because we're chasing them out. Ultimately, by approving this ordinance, we, this body, is meeting our responsibility to ensure the safety and well-being of the public. And even if it's here at the airport, like uh, Port Authority has said, it's unenforceable. Even if this vote today in that respect is only symbolic, and you know, that is why I am supporting this ordinance, and I believe that is why this body previously has supported this ordinance unanimously.